With the release of Cyberpunk 2077 being just under three weeks to go, CDPR has finally given us more details about the system specs and what you'll need to be able to run the game at. So for everyone asking me if you'll be okay to play, this one is for you. Remember to sub to the channel for everything Cyberpunk. Now, let's get into it. We can now see what resolution and graphics setting your hardware should be able to run Cyberpunk in. Everything is gonna require Windows 10 64-bit and a 70G SSD. So to play at 1080p low settings, you're gonna need an Intel Core i5-3570K or an AMD FX 8310, eight gigs of RAM with a GTX 780 or a Radeon RX 470 with at least three VRAM. I think many people should have something along these lines, which makes the game way more accessible to people. I mean, it's on low, but it is better than nothing. Now, moving to the recommended 1080p and high settings, this will require a processor of either Intel Core i7-4790 or an AMD Ryzen 3 3200G with 12 gigs of RAM and at least a GTX 1060 6 gig, a GTX 6060 Super, or a Radeon RX 590 with six gigabytes of VRAM. The recommended settings still aren't that difficult to obtain. I would hate to guess, but I think many gamers in 2020 have these specs, except myself, who still has a 1050 Ti for some reason. Many people are gonna be able to enjoy this game at CDPR's recommended requirements. Moving up the list of 1440p Ultra graphics, you'll need yourself an Intel Core i7-4790 or an AMD Ryzen 3 3200G, 16 gigs of RAM, and an RTX 2060 or a Radeon RX 5700 XT with six gigabytes of VRAM. At this level, I think we potentially get into the more demanding requirements that some people might not have yet. I can see the RAM and the graphics card where people might not have reached yet. Now, moving to 2060p Ultra Graphics, you'll need an Intel Core i7-4790 or an AMD Ryzen 5 3600, 16 gigs of RAM, and either an RTX 2080 Super, an RTX 3070, or a Radeon RX 6800 XT with eight gigs of VRAM. This is definitely gonna be the settings that's gonna be hard to reach, I think, for people. But if you have a monitor for 2060p, I think you already have these parts. But if you are looking to upgrade for some nice 4K action, those are the minimum that you're gonna need. Now we move into the more demanding and new tech, ray tracing. These will require mostly Nvidia's new 3000 series cards, as the new AMD ones aren't listed here yet. The main thing holding people back from this tier is actually getting a 30 series card. Starting with 1080p ray tracing at medium, you'll need yourself an Intel i7-4790 or an AMD Ryzen 3 3200G with 16 gigs of RAM and an RTX 2060 with at least six gigs of VRAM. I'm actually surprised to see the RTX 2060 card there and not at least the 3070. So it's cool that people won't need to fully upgrade to get some ray tracing in. This next tier is where I personally want to be myself the 1440p Ray Tracing Ultra. You'll need an Intel Core i7-6700 or an AMD Ryzen 5 3600 with 16 gigs of RAM and an RTX 3070 with eight gigs of VRAM. And for the Big Daddy 4K Ray Tracing Ultra, you'll need an Intel Core i7-6700 or an AMD Ryzen 5 3600 with 16 gigs of RAM with that RTX 3080 with 10 gigs of VRAM, which isn't awful specs to need. The good thing here is that the CPUs aren't really that demanding and they aren't too expensive either. I think the Ryzen 5 3600 is like $200 now. And with the new 5000 series coming out, that could even go lower. These specs aren't insane as I thought they could be. I said it in my last video about the specs and I still think that it's not that demanding of a game. We all knew what ray tracing would require. And if you don't actually care about that, then playing on high 1080p or 1440p isn't that difficult to obtain and shouldn't be that expensive if you haven't upgraded yet. One thing I can see people actually not having is the SSD though. So if you don't have one, I highly recommend it, as does CDPR, obviously. The quick load times with the SSD is gonna be necessary and the game will run so much better with one. We have about three weeks until launch. So if you need to upgrade, you got some time to do it still. Remember to sub to the channel if you haven't done so yet for everything Cyberpunk. Stick around for some more videos coming up and remember, always take it to the edge. It's the Cyberpunk way.